See your driver's license, please. All right, one. Well, all right, I like your, uh, I like your, like your rap anthem as you're going. It's a good soundtrack for riding dirty, which is what you're doing. So I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is your plates are both expired and suspended. See your driver's license, please. Sorry, Frank. I'm trying to get to work, oh, man. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's all right, man. Well, as you know, I'm Deputy Slope. Yeah, I work for the... Do know. Yeah. How do you know? I watch you. I watch on YouTube, man. You do? Yes, sir. Man, you got dark tinted <laughs> windshield, man. <laughs> I knew you were going to call me out on that. I oh, man, it's, it's the law. <sighs> so, so I like the... I knew you were going to stop me for that. Well, like, if you're driving around with an illegal window tint, and you obviously, you watch the videos that are created by the Pinal County Sheriff's Office, knowing that I'm out here fairly aggressively enforcing Arizona Motor Vehicle Law with the entire rest of the traffic unit, you'd probably be like, hey man, take that stuff off my windshield so I don't get bugged. And he's also at 62 miles an hour in a 35. And no, he's speeding. But I'm gonna give you a warning for that. All right, I'm gonna document that I put it on there. Um, you're gonna get a citation for speed, because like I said, man, you're, you're moving at a good clip, all right? The reason I stopped you is I locked you at 60 in a 45 on Hunt Highway there. And you gotta, gotta wear your seatbelt. Wearing a seatbelt's kind of a big deal. Well, I just pulled out, so my whole family works in law enforcement, so. People in law enforcement, like me, don't want their family members trying to use the fact that they've chosen this as a profession to try to get out of a ticket when you're 15 miles an hour above the speed limit and not wearing your seatbelt. Any idea why I might have stopped you today? I'm sure because they checked a text from my boss. Oh, it was more than a check. It was from like way down on Gansel, south of Empire, all the way up around the corner there, over the railroad tracks, through the woods, halfway to Grandma's house. Can see your driver's license, please? I don't have my wallet on me. It's at the house. You know, I just fixed the bike. The bike is registered and has insurance on it. Okay. Do you have and happen to have that insurance? I don't actually. All right. Okay. Do you have anything? Registration paperwork. Any sort of identification? I wish I did. All yeah, right. So, any idea why I might have stopped you? I have two totally separate, unrelated reasons. Oh, God, I can only name one. Okay, what's the one you can name? I can name the 45, the 35. Well, it's 35, and you were doing 52 when we passed each other, yep. So that's reason number one. Number two, you notice how you're squinting as you're looking into the, uh, into the sun? Yeah. Do you know why you're squinting? It's because the sun is raining. Because right you don't have any sunglasses on. Right? Well, you don't have a windshield, no. and you don't have any eye protection as required by Arizona law when you're operating a motorcycle. I really don't need one. You are incorrect. Now, if you had a mo if you had a windshield to protect your precious eyes, then you would need one. Okay. Um, but since you don't have a windshield, you need something to keep bugs out of your eyes so you don't crash your bike. So, do you have a motorcycle endorsement? I it's on my license. Okay, no, I mean, you, do you have one on your license? Not that I know of. No, I don't think so. I don't. I never took the class for it for the endorsement. Okay, but you know you need one. I know, I know. I, I've read online that I don't need one unless I was riding out past midnight or if I had a passenger with me. That's when I would need the endorsement. That's what I read the section. You, you have been, you have been the recipient of very poor information, like on a, on a whole bunch of different different topics here. There's so many violations that you committed that I couldn't fit them all on one citation. So all the ones that I can't fit on one citation, I'm just gonna give you a warning for. You don't have any sort of license on you, so if you were to get into a collision without your helmet and with no identifying features, I'd have no idea who you were. That can't be safe. Huh? Nothing. Have a good day. See, that's electric, so it doesn't apply. Yes, sir. You can walk this bike home, yes, sir. right? And make sure you take a motorcycle class. You'll learn all the laws so you're not trying to interpret Arizona Motor Vehicle Law. 